everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm from Blog and Gaming Q, and today we're playing some more Bloom's Adventure on Tower Defense. So, you guys didn't specifically ask for it, but I thought it would be fun, and also, honestly, it was just still stuck in my mind to do Candy's Elemental or Candy's Elements. Basically, we're gonna be using PB, Warrior, PB, and Dragonaut because he has a bubblegum upgrade. Um, that, that's pretty much it. We are on that same rule. So, interesting thing. Um, PB actually has a D camo, so I'm hoping she'll be able to deal with most camo things. But I'm not sure if it works on DTs. If it does, then this is unnecessary. But just in case, I did give Juggernaut max camo protection, you know, with also extra damage to DTs and camo. So that, that could still be pretty useful, though. I suppose if she does D camo, that would actually make that trinket worse. But, whatever. If you want, if you're curious about his trinkets, obviously for weapon, we have Dragon Tooth. Engineer's Blueprint, Cosmic Gauntlet, is it Cosmic Gauntlet? Cosmic Gauntlet, I mix this one up and the he gaunt Hero of the Gauntlet, or, or the Gauntlet's Hero, or whatever. Um, Heart Gauntlets? Heart Gauntlets. Um, Damage Ring and Dragon Eyes, yes. Um, for our good friends, Warrior PB, we have 40 Sword. It doesn't do as much damage, but the 40 Sword is very, very OP. Tigerthar, honestly, this is an important one, but most of these upgrades won't help very much because she herself is not going to be doing most of her damage. This one makes her spawn more people, so this one's pretty important. The rest, I sort of went for some damage. I actually just noticed this after a while. Considering this is an uncommon, this is actually really powerful. James' lucky coin attacks up for 5% chance to do double damage. This is more useful than most, like, rare and epic trinkets. I really should keep an eye on this. That could be much. It could be very useful later on, when for some heroes or towers or characters or whatever you want to call them, that have more trinket slots. That could be very useful. Um, Princess Bubblegum. More important, we have Liquefire. This there is still support. This these two are pretty useful. They just are pretty good support. Google Meat also increases her own damage, which is helpful. Baker Shard and Demon Heart because why not? Wait, did I give her Baker Shard to Max? It didn't. Oh. Then we'll play from this with a Baker Shard because there's no reason not to. Okay, now I'm confused. Who else has a Baker Shard? Do you? And yes, you do. I'm going to take you out and give you to Max instead of this. So obviously, I could make these a little bit better, but to be honest, I'm sort of keeping the idea that they're not perfect since, well, the Fire and Ice weren't perfect either, and. If they were perfect, that would be a bit unfair. So if I remember correctly, I very much could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure Ice lost on 69 and Fire lost on 62 to Camo Purples, right? I think so. Too bad, we could have done this on a candy map, but you know what? Ice map for simplicity, because that's what we did the other elements, and although, to be fair, a candy map would obviously fit the theme better. It's better to see comparison-wise. I feel like that... So I just realized my mistake. We are missing Juggernaut Max. I thought we were missing more than just him, but I guess it's only him. That could have been worse. So by the way, in case I do seem a little off today, I'm very tired. Like, I don't know why. I haven't done all that much today. I'm hoping this will be the start of me being a bit more productive, but I really haven't done anything. But I'm really tired. I went to bed pretty late last night. I watched um, Star Wars Attack of the Clones. It was very good, but it was late and I was very tired and yeah it didn't go very well i just i'm very tired which you know what can't be helped um hopefully i will regain energy i wasn't all that tired this morning but now i am um who do we start with let's start with the main candy people pb and war, war pb and worry or pb i have no idea why i had such a hard time saying that um then let's get max yeah, let's go for Max next. Um, how was your day? Just to start off with that. Hope your day was pretty good, or has been pretty good. Obviously, day's generally not over yet. Guess technically, no matter, unless you're literally watching this at like, I don't know, 11.59 or something like that, the day's still not over, anything could happen. It does not take long for something spontaneous to happen. Whether it be something simple like, oh, you got, I don't know, found a coin on the ground, found one dollar bill somewhere, I don't know. 
Or, see, so it does work for both of them. I was a little curious, because often these two seem to go, like, they both work for certain things, which is very good. But I find it a little odd, because I don't think that's true with too many other heroes. But I guess it's because they're elementals, they have more shared traits, but I don't know. I guess Princess Bubblegum is also just a very important character in the game. They have a lot of different abilities. I remember when I first got Warrior PG, I thought she was pretty bad. And, um, now thinking things over, this is really useful. I feel she's not bad, but she's definitely not, like, super overpowered. But, obviously, she has her ally things. Normal Princess Bubblegum just has some really good traits. Decamo, Deregros, tons of support. This is a pretty big support, makes some money, has some decent damage, like, just overall a pretty good character. I feel like we're going to start going with, um, Gum, the Elemental today, or the Element, not the Elemental. Because that will be more interesting. I'm not surprised if the Liquid Fire still shoots Gum, because you do most things will like change the projectile. I suppose once you get Spike Balls, he still shoots Spike Balls, so... Did you almost die to a yellow though? I'm a little hesitant. You think I'm. Um, actually, I'm gonna go for speed for PB first because, to be honest, she's pretty important. If she doesn't so hit at basically every blue, we're in a bit of trouble. And we already leaked to a yellow. They're not in range anymore. Oh, they are, but they missed. What? Okay, I'm restarting, honestly. I think my placement's really bad. We're placing them in the middle because. I decided so. Petey, you're going there, Dragon on Max, I guess somewhere else. So yellows. Yellows definitely seem to be our issue. I wasn't really expecting that, but that's not very good. I mean, if there's something you'd be bad at, it being fast balloons. A you're using a glue gunner. Like this is basically the equivalent of a glue gunner. Why are fast balloons what we're weak to? It really sh really shouldn't be that way. I get it. But, like, that's what she's... I know she's sort of damaged, and, like, they don't really do a very good job with Lugano, but... Just how, honestly? I don't get it. How is she that bad against fast balloons? I mean, we leaked to a yellow. We didn't even leak to a pink. It was a yellow. That's a little bit sad. Um... I guess I'm gonna go with the attack speed for now. Hope the back will make a difference. Oh, probably not allies attack faster. I wonder if this affects the... Character's warrior PB summons. Oh, even because this is warrior. No, it's warrior PB specifically. It's a spell. For so obviously they do have different names, but I mean, this upgrade specifically calls for. Well, it doesn't show here, but I believe it says Princess Bubblegum to be in range. So it's a little, just a little odd, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna go for attack speed on PB because I'm hoping she'll be able to hit them. If she's not, then I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess we could always go for attack speed with her too. That's the second upgrade, I think. She does attack decently quickly. She's a pretty slow attacker, but with all of her upgrades, she's sort of fast. Let's see. Let's go for the sword training, because why not? Yeah, common expertise. I believe it's double sword attack speed. It's a pretty big increase. Am I correct about that? Good enough of an increase. Now it's time to actually go for candy, I hope. Might not happen, but I hope. I mean, obviously, we could go for attack speed for all of them. That might be more useful, but uh, I kind of want to go for candy, because the goal is the candy, obviously. I mean, what else would the goal be, truthfully? So you guys were really awesome yesterday. You did leave a lot of comments, but I don't know. Maybe it was because it was closer to the end, or maybe you guys just, I don't know. You obviously, most of you seem to have pretty exciting news more so regarding the event, but all sorts of other things. Tell me what you got, which is awesome to hear. For a progress update, I can both show you afterwards, but I'm two away. Two extreme games away. I mean, I probably could do it today, but I did it recently, so I probably won't. But next video, which will hopefully be tomorrow, assuming things don't go weird. Um, or assuming I'm not too lazy. But probably tomorrow. Um, we will be opening our legendary show. I'm hoping for Vampire King. Will we get Vampire King? Reloading. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. I guess it's a little... Well, it's hard to tell. I almost wonder if this game... Because I could be wrong about this, but it almost does seem like this game 
has something, because it doesn't seem like it's random towards you getting duplicates. Because I don't know about you, maybe I'm just really lucky. But dude, I often want to, I mean obviously I'm going for collection stuff, so new stuff's awesome, but you don't seem to get as many duplicates as you'd expect in this game. So I don't know, maybe that's just me, maybe I'm getting lucky, or maybe I'm misremembering things, but it does seem like they have something to do with, like, limiting your chance of getting duplicates. So, with luck, we might get Vampire King, but I don't know. I definitely could be wrong about that. I mean, I say I want Vampire King, but really, I don't want any of the weapons. Truthfully, they're really not very good. I've heard good things about Silver Staked Outs, but or civil tip dots, but they never, like, it just didn't seem good to me. Dragon Fang or whatever, Dragon Teeth, seems just far superior in almost every way, to be honest. Does she not have camo detection until we get super intelligence? I really wish it said gave camo detection, but it doesn't. It just says attacks remove camo and weaker, so obviously she gains camo detection then, but I kind of wish they described it better. Made it more clear. But they do not, which is a bit unfortunate. I am excited for Warrior PB, by the way, in case you can't tell. 5, 6, I did make my mind. I'm going for Warrior PB first. She won't be as fun to Ultra Buff, but honestly, I just really want to see her. I guess we do have access to the Candy Hoppers now. I guess the ability, I've used her in, in like, motion games when they give us access to all of them, and it was really fun. Because she's just fun to use. Her ability is just like a giant laser, and it follows your mouse slash cursor slash thing or whatever i think it does at least i feel like that's how i remember it it's just fun like she crowds with everything she can be very irritating though because unlike how they did sentries in bt6 you cannot place towers on top of her sentries so it's a little irritating kind of wish that wasn't the case but could be worse i forget to the can are the candy coppers permanent i feel like they are Honestly, she's just cool because she's really the only unit that creates this cool army. And unlike actually sentries from BT6, so I guess I guess the tier four maybe. There's such a good variety. Like there's the melee or the ranged the range units. Then there is her candy helicopter, which does not seem too prominent. Oh, there's the candy helicopter. This one, the upgrade moves faster and have more weapons. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, so candy copter, pretty cool. It seems like it might be permanent now, it's a little hard to tell. I feel like I'm just gonna go for these upgrades, I'm not sure if they'll actually help. Truthfully, I'm not sure any of the future upgrades except I guess the ability would really help much. Yes, let's go for the money making. We really don't need money making. Sorry about that. We really don't need money making, but I feel like it could be useful nonetheless. At least get me allow me. Never mind, we have to sell her. I'm not selling her yet, but we do because you can't get a damaging upgrade because I'm dumb. Yay. But you know, we need $6,000 for an upgrade that I don't think actually does anything. But, whatever. Whatever. We just lost money. But I mean, we did get a money making upgrade, so will it make it pay itself off considering the fact that we have to sell? Probably. Maybe not, but probably. The candy coppers blue balloons. It's a little hard to tell. I don't think they do. I really like the candy coppers. Like, I know I've said this a lot recently, but like, and then there's candy helicopters. Yeah, like so many different unit types. It just makes it seem very cool. So I think I'm gonna say for five and six k. Um, simply because I don't want to have to go to the castle, I suppose. But that shouldn't be too long. We're doing pretty well. We're looking pretty well. Um. I think her gun slows swamps. Yes, it does. Yes, maybe, yes. I think so. A little hard to tell, but it looks like it slows more abs. Okay. I'm gonna slow things down. She's pretty useful overall. It didn't sell us up there. Okay, I'm just double checking that. We cannot go for money making, unfortunately, because we need to go for that. For me, and there we go. Max. We have a one ability. Pretty useful ability. Um, jelly beans have power. It's a little iffy. I didn't know it had anything range. In fact, I thought it was very. I thought it was more like Gauntlet of the Hero or whatever it's called. Where it's sort of weird, like a, you'd expect it to be infinite, but it's not. But that does not seem to be the case. It does not have lead pop power. 
I have to assume liquefier does, like liquid gun. No idea if 40 sword does. Probably not, but I mean, 40 sword's weird. I don't know if it actually has any damage to its effect. Jake, he's a juggernaut. If it doesn't, that's really dumb. But yeah. I do feel like candy, at least for Dragon Max, might be the worst because ice, supposedly, again, really hard to tell. Um, for Moads, which would be super useful. Fire sets them on fire, which, as far as I can tell, no other upgrade actually does that, so that's super useful, I think. Um, but gum, even if gums Moads, and even if the gum slows them, that's just sort of useful. Also, if you're wondering why. Somehow, Warrior PB has a lot of pops, considering the fact that, in case you didn't know, these guys don't actually count towards a pop power. It's 40 Sword. It's because if we get lucky enough, 40 Sword will just be like, hey, here are ZMG, swing, and no more ZMG. So, that's why she's actually very useful. In case you're wondering why I didn't go for, um, I forget what it's called. I feel like it started with an N, it's a big sword, it can hit lead blooms. So, could have used that for DT pop power, I suppose. But let's see, it might actually happen now. Probably won't. Depends how much damage we end up having. But will 40 sword come in clutch? Oh okay, yeah, the blue definitely slows him down. 40 sword. Yeah. That's the power of the 40 sword, as I was explaining. Swing, swing, swing. ZMG go bye bye. ZMG disappears. It doesn't exist anymore. I think it explains that it goes to like an alternate universe or whatever, or like goes to the fourth dimension, something weird like that. It's pretty powerful. <laughs> I gotta admit that. And most people would argue it's the best sword. Unless you're soaring. If you're soaring, you definitely don't want to use that because it's very unreliable. But I mean, I don't know. It still might be best for soaring. Some people. One thing that's gonna be interesting is I already actually did Finn Soar, but I could totally redo it using. After I was really done with Finn's sword, so I think I might actually redo Finn's all buff and sword. But A, at least with buff, we didn't use- I didn't know this was permanent, I didn't know this was an upgrade, so I felt dumb about that. Also, it's possible 40 sword, or even Finn sword, might be better. I actually have access- I think I have Finn sword, if not, then Finn sword's the only sword I'm missing. But, I have access to a lot of swords, and I have no idea which one would actually be best. Could be fun to do that. Yes, as a redo, but also maybe do it as a sword comparison. Like, just compare all the different epic swords. Especially with Finn, since he's... I mean, there is Warrior PB, but really, she's not focusing on sword. He's the sword unit. He's sort of it. Unless you're Dungeon Finn, in which case... I mean, I don't know. I've heard Dungeon Finn actually has a lot of different abilities, but... I have to assume that some of them are that. Anyways, I can be... I don't know, God Shafted or whatever. Gum beat fire. I mean, once again, a little sucks because obviously fire lost the game purple, but gum beat fire and 42. Yeah, no. I'm not taking any chances. Or not. Yeah, this is looking very good. I mean, they do have all three loops. I sort of have to keep that in mind. But next, like, all these towers are barely really doing anything yet. Your gun is powerful. I did. I underestimated them, and I actually have a suspicion that it's I'm assuming at least these two, and I want to bet that he can pop though, and I'm assuming her ability can pop DTs, because that's what uh, Ice Lost do. Ice Lost DTs because only Ice King could actually damage them, I think. I thought, no. I have no idea. Basically, they didn't do enough damage to DTs. I'm not sure if it was that. Very few of the attacks actually have lead pop power or what. So yeah, pop definitely has lead pop power. And against DTs? We're good. It also does seem like she definitely became with DTs. Which I think is overall a good thing because that gets her and apparently all of her sentries came back as well. Or the ability to pop through, so that's very useful. Um, very unexpected by the way, but we could totally beat, like, go to the bad balloon. Maybe not beat it. Maybe, but probably not. Because, keep in mind, if we're actually struggling against DTs, we still have the candy ability. DTs, they're not easy, but they're not a big threat. ZMG is a like, if we get lucky enough. I'm not saying we will be able to beat the Babylon, we probably won't, unless I want it during my bank account. In game bank account, obviously. Um, because it would probably require very, very good luck from 40 Sword. But it seems like it's very much so possible to beat 
all because all vent sides if you get lucky enough it's like two or three strikes from 40 sword and boom they're all gone which would be just the baboon itself which we can probably beat before they get out of range with the baboon back here it's a long track powerful pd ability obviously if i had level seven it would be way stronger explosive damage or that's what it does i thought it just did they change this i could have sworn this used to just make it stronger or laser beam Juggernaut Max is, well, A, have them all back, but also his ability to launch them everywhere. That was a waste. And a big waste because there are four or five DTs in this round, which could actually prove troublesome. And when I say actually, I mean likely will prove troublesome. So, can you build? Anytime now. That would be perfect. DTs on its last damage phase. Okay, now the other one. Copter, 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 copter. That was really close. That was a, a lot closer than I was expecting. Ooh, I completely didn't, I mean, I did sort of mention it, but candy best. Um, yeah, so unbeknownst to me, I guess I was completely wrong. We were all talking about fire and ice, all those, how those were super powerful. No, it's it's candy, undeniably. <laughs> Candies being fortified DTs, ZMGs, and with fuck, maybe even the bad moon because well, apparently, I don't know. Apparently, candy's very very powerful. I mean, it sort of makes sense if you actually. Ow! Not expecting that. If you actually know the story, um. Princess, the candy elemental is the only candy. All of the candy people, including all of these guys, all of these sentries and stuff, and gumballs and stuff, were made it. Uh, Princess Bubblegum kind of made them. Like, she made them in a lab. It's a little bit creepy, the story. I just remember this is a range. Baboon. So, we did make it to the Baboon. Will we actually beat the Baboon? I mean, I guess it depends. We'll see how much damage we end up doing. I don't think so. But, yeah, that's not very much damage. We could definitely do it. We'd have to rely on very, very lucky 40 sword uses, and even still, probably fun. I have a feeling we might be able to pop the thing, and that feeling is going away, as the baboon is still... Okay, second damage phase. I guess third. We might get... I think we'll get it to last damage phase. I don't think we're gonna get it dead, unless it goes to, like, last damage phase, like, right now. Yeah, no. If we're lucky, we'll get to last damage phase. It's not popping. Like, no way it's popping. Still, though, very impressive for candy only. Last damage phase. That was actually really well. That worked out pretty well. I'm glad I re can uh, restarted because I'm pretty sure my original tile placements were very, very horrible. Um, So this was a little bit shorter because... Well, obviously, as opposed to yesterday, we, when we did two elementals, only doing one. They did last longer, so it might have turned out to be, like, 15-ish minutes. No idea. Um, as I was proving to you, we have 440. We're two away. If you are curious how that math works out, there are 20 per tape, six per row. Four, um, yeah, six per row. There are four rows. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. 6 per row, 4 row, 6 times 4, 24. 24 times 20, 480, because you add the 0 to 40 times 2, 480. So, 440, 2 away. Pretty close, we'll have it for tomorrow, so that'll be exciting. Um, Well, I think I might actually do... Let me know if you have any other suggestions, obviously, but I think I might retry the hardest map in the game, because... Well, for no other reason, then, I kind of feel like we can do it now. Especially if we get Vampire King. I've heard he's very powerful, especially against strong balloons. Not sure how well he works on the map with literally no space, but still. Beyond that, um, have an incredible day. Um, one last thing. Challenge ideas. I know this was sort of random, so, yeah. It was a little random, but I was sort of, I was serious about it. Um, last video when I said if I won, which obviously, I guess now it didn't, but it beat Fire, which is what I said. Um, to leave me some random challenge, like, something random like, I don't know, speak like Yoda for an episode, or 
I don't know, speak very, speak in slow motion, speak very fast. Um, I have no idea what else. I could speak, try to imitate people, I guess, but that might not go too well. I'm not very good at it, to be honest. And by that, I mean very, very bad at it. Talk like a pirate, things like that. I won't necessarily do them well, but could be fun. So let me know if you have any of those ideas. Anyways, please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed, subscribing to join the Puff Elfin Squad. It makes my day, it's super nice, and I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed candy. It turned out pretty well. I'm very impressed with them, honestly. Maybe I'll have to actually try using Princess Bubblegum and Warrior Princess Bubblegum for damage rather than just support, because I've really only used them for support, but maybe this will change my mind. Anyways, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have an incredible day. Bye!